staple restaurant in the Cantrell area is reopening for the first time in a year and a half. Yeah, the tornado March 31st of last year forced the original Purple Cow to close. Fox 16's Caroline Derby, though, is joining us live this morning at the Purple Cow with more. Good morning. Yes, we're inside the brand new Purple Cow restaurant on Cantrell. I'm joined now by Leslie Cotton. This year and a half, y'all have been rebuilding, redesigning. What did that process look like after the tornado hit? You know, it's just, uh, it's starting from, you know, what was old and torn up to getting to this beautiful point. It's exciting, you know, to be able to refresh this area. We are happy to be back in this community and the build went as smoothly as it possibly could. So we're grateful and ready to go. The community obviously has played a huge role yes. in talking earlier. You said you just kind of feel like a neighbor in this area. Absolutely. How have they impacted maybe staying here too and not moving locations even after the tornado? 100% we stayed because of this community. We stayed because of our regular guests and just being such an integral part of this community. It's that's 100% why we stayed. We could have moved, found a bigger location. This is home. That's so neat. And then there's some new to the Purple Cow. This location, brunch. I'm, I'm a brunch girl. I love brunch. I know some people are going to like it too. What can people expect from brunch here? Oh my goodness, chicken and waffles. You know, we've got a south of the border menu with breakfast tacos, breakfast burrito, you know, some good old, we call it the breakfast bash, but you know, just a good plated country breakfast. So we're really excited. And maybe a cocktail or a mimosa, oh, you know? Very nice, yes. <laughs> well, they officially open today at 9, 9 o'clock, so just in a few hours, and we'll be here for it. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Caroline Derby. Back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, you had me at brunch. You had me at mimosa. Them. At mimosa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had me at purple. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. This day does mean a lot to everyone in this area. Thinking back to March 31st of 2023, this entire area looks basically completely different now. It was really hit hard. What's new about this new building? What's what's new about what y'all been able to do? And I know you're opening in a few hours. Excitement. I know, very excited. So we have a few things that's new. We have two entrances now. We have a to-go entrance on the inside of the building that we didn't have before. And then we have the new bar that's just, it's a, soda bar, but it's still, you know, <laughs> front and center. Um, you can see a lot. I mean, the entire building, the windows, the view outside, it's just spectacular, you know, so much. It's kind of like you miss the old, but it's just so pretty and shiny. You got to enjoy the news. You so. like the new too. You yeah. <laughs> Y'all have been here for 35 years. We were talking earlier. Some of the customers have been coming here for 35 years. What's That's it like right. to kind of see those people come through the doors and especially even today too, going through so much. It's so amazing. It's so amazing to have generations of families come and see you and just see someone bring their grandchild for the first time and have a purple vanilla shake. There's <laughs> nothing better, you know? So we're very happy to be part of this community for that reason. We have guests that have come to see us for the last 35 years. I was definitely a child that left purple cow with purple milkshake all over my face. And I know yeah. hopefully we'll see some of those cute kids a little bit later. Yes. <laughs> but the opening is officially at 9 a.m. We'll be here for it. We'll send it back to you. All right, thank you very much, Caroline. Good morning, Pat and Ashley. Yes, we're here on Cantrell. An exciting day. This building looks a lot different than it did about 18 months ago. This is Leslie Cotton. She's director of operations. Leslie, what can people expect when they come through the doors today? It's the grand reopening. Maybe some nerves for y'all. Maybe some excitement. Tell me all about I think it. We're all a little nervous. We're very <laughs> excited. Um, you can expect a good atmosphere. We're going to have maybe some balloons around, some treats for the kids. Polly, our um, mascot, yes. may make an appearance. <laughs> She might be here this afternoon after school. You know, to make sure the kids, when they get out of school, they can visit if they want. So just a busy day, we hope, full of just having a good time and seeing some old familiar places that we haven't seen in quite some time. So Yeah, and tell me about the last year and a half. You've really had to work to get this building back up, maybe gone through some hurdles, different things, but you're here now. Yes, so, you know, we had a few battles with getting started on building, but once we started building, things have gone smoothly. A beautiful ending to it so it was all worth it um, but we're just glad to be back here and home so I know other people in the area are very excited that was a big thing that we've been talking about it's just how important purple cow is to this neighborhood and people are always asking when is it going to reopen we've been covering this for a while now so we're excited for you all and getting ready for 9 a.m. the big yeah. time we'll send Thank it back to you 
Good morning, Ashley. Yes, the countdown is on. The crews here, they're getting those last minute touches, last minute setups, all before the grand opening at nine o'clock. I'm with Leslie Cotton, Director of Operations. Your employees, they've, you know, some of them went to different locations after this one was um, hit by the tornado. Some are new. Talk to me just kind of about what y'all were able to do after the tornado for the people who work here too. So we offered everyone a chance to either go to our Chanel location, North Little Rock, if they had family close. We have a Hot Springs location, Conway. We really tried to rehome everybody for as long as we could. Yeah. So. And now you've got a new crew here, though, for a new yeah. location. Of course, you're coming back. You've been here with Purple Cow for a while. But how is exciting is it? Countdown's on, like we mentioned earlier. It's almost here. Long year and a half, but a, but a good one. Yeah. We are so excited. I mean, you just cannot say enough. We are just ready to get back open, get back to doing what we do best, which is make purple vanilla shakes and cook <laughs> some burgers and fries. So we're very thrilled to be here. Yes, and y'all do do it very well. I grew up going to the Hot Springs location. I was from Arkadelphia, so it's very fun to be down there yes. too. And I know the original one, it's back open about, what, 20 minutes maybe now? So come on, get your purple milkshakes, all the things. We'll send it back to you, Ashley.